I go by this motto in my life. Um, nobody cares, so do what you want. A man like no other. A man like no other. What? Oh, no, 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 I mean like... Yeah, he's asking about the ending. Oh, the ending, it's, uh, yeah, it's there. Wild child, a man like no, no other yeah. one. After he, uh, he will say wild child three times, then a man like no other. I think people need to feel things um, and sometimes uh, they don't feel it when they read and music has this magical power of reaching the heart without doing too much. Uh, so as you probably know, I think most of you, uh, I, I launched a blog uh, back in September, so it's like very personal. Uh, I write a lot of uh, articles. I wrote this text in the form uh, of a poem. And it's about my life. Uh, and when I finished uh, to write it, I was like, it can be a song. Basically, the story is like, uh, um, from a shy kid, growing up, uh, moving to Paris, becoming uh, an adult and living like the real life. So I have to adapt and become stronger and, and stuff like that. Um, and I really want the song to, to be like kind of bluesy in the way to um, um, tell the story. But at the same time, I want something like very rock and roll, uh, kind of the old school way, like 60s vibe. Yeah, to build up. Want to. Yeah, so it's going to start like uh, as a shy kid, you know, like slow and sweet and everything. And then it goes uh, stronger and, and a bit wild. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Sounds easy. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll start. He's going to do all the work to start with. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I've chosen to work with Dolly Mitz um, because um, I had like this soul connection um, with Mohammed, who is to me like the music master, the magician of the whole thing. Well, uh, the process and the communication with Munir, it happened really naturally. I reached him first when I saw his work. Uh, I, I knew nothing about the person or the brand. But looking at the work itself, it was very high quality and at the same time it got the attitude and you can tell straight away he's coming from the same uh, place uh, we come from musically. Now look in my face, there's hope, there's suffering. Uh, well, it was really easy and beautiful at the same time. He, uh, for us, it was different than what we will usually do because you have a mission, you've got lyrics, you're trying to uh, deliver exact feel, you know, of uh, a person, vision of something, and you keep that in mind. And music-wise, we both agreed that it comes from that beautiful Willie Dixon, Muddy Waters inspiration. So I kept that without copying exactly what you'll hear as cliché. <laughs> Uh, and we, so because uh, now we did different different poses, so we we did it on one. If you want to stay very bluesy, you can't do it on one. You just need to go. Okay, then cue us, okay? You cue us. But where do we want to do the pose? That's the question. Um, have that half alive. Yeah. I don't want you to go high because uh, same, it's, it's like dark, sad. So it's more like... Um, just, just save the high notes for the end ones. Huh? Save the high... Go yes, yes, yeah. I don't feel like I was naturally uh, giving it the style that Manir wanted to start with, so I think that was quite challenging. 
uh, bring it down a bit. I think I'm more of an extrovert and he's more of an introvert. So it's finding that happy medium. Um, so developing on that was, I suppose it was tough, but it's part of the journey and it was enjoyable. So it's not, uh, it's just the process. And that's why I want to sing it still. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just like now look in my face. Oh, shit, like spit it. Yeah. It's hard to, you mean, you just go, look in my face! <laughs> I mean like, I had to, <laughs> to like, <laughs> sit with him and explain exactly who I am as a person, the journey of my life, uh, so he can also uh, make a bond with me um, as a human being. We all go through sadness and happiness and toughness and um, stuff like that. So it was like the most challenging part. Most of the main? Yeah. So when you which, like, which I think is the easy way uh, to go through. The only bit that I can't uh, figure out how long we're leaving it is where you go. Like in your head, how long do you leave it after that? So you go. My favorite moment in the process is probably, you know, uh, the beginning where you find it out. It's like a first love, isn't it? That first kiss, it's exciting. Um, the moment that I really liked uh, while creating the music was the first time we met uh, with the whole band. Uh, when I could see every member trying to understand what I was um, saying. Uh, and they would all come with like their own vibe, their own um, elements to create the music. Uh, and when it all happened, it felt like a magic moment. And you know, it's, it's like creating something and you can see it um, taking his final shape. Yeah, well, no, when we, we, when we recorded it, uh, what about slide? It, I it will would, have uh, opening guitar would, a second. Oh, uh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. There's definitely yeah. some because to, to, to put some parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, actually, guitar. all all the guitar lines will be in open G. Um, That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. it's gonna be loud, so, loud and noisy. So I have like three <laughs> three guitar lines written for it. Uh huh. Yeah. And one is in open G. One in open G. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So and we just need the structure now. We yeah. get the structure done. Yeah, we have to work on this, and yes. and then I will also write some notes for you, uh, yes. for the singing. Yes. The man got this blues rock kind of vibe that I really love. So I knew they would be the perfect fit for it. So what I want people to get from me is you don't need to you don't need to um, compromise yourself uh, to be accepted in this world or to survive uh, in this world. You just need to understand and to adapt and uh, make the best out of it. A man like no other.